Well, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Nina, the simple Kenyan girl, or you can just call me Nina. Um, yeah, 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 happy new year. Oh, goodness, 2024, right? Let's hope for the best. And I am so excited to be back. Yes, if you do not know, I I, I just took an unknown break from September last year but we are back strong yeah and the lord has been so good to me because uh from then uh we we were blessed with our that child a baby girl and we are so 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 happy yeah so welcome back i would like if you have seen just down there you know we are about to get roasted yeah so uh, I would like you guys to comment down below what was your experience like uh, where you gave birth and how was it in terms of the treatment the the way the staff was treating you and stuff yeah so yeah let's get right into it seen the topic and you want an advice just sit back relax and let me take you through um there before there was no insurance or if there was it was so limited and it has really really evolved from how women have been taken care of when they were give, when they were giving birth back then to now Mm, we are seeing a lot of CS um, cases reason being it might be uh, it might be just how things are going it might be the insurance we know uh, we are in a state where right now everyone is greedy to get what they can so there is that even in the hospitals and then another thing now is uh, the state of affairs so that fear of you don't know what what's going to happen next you just need to plan yourself a plan by 38 weeks if this baby is not out we are supposed to just go and get a cs yeah those elective cs's yeah um i'm not here to attack any cs as long as your baby is safe that's what is the most important so let's get started as a first time mom i'm here to talk out to the first time mamas because i believe i have experience and i can tackle on one or two three things and i would like you as a mom to just comment down below what your experience was please don't be shy say what you can tell us tell us how was how were you treated in a public hospital how are you treated in a private hospital if you went to one and how are you treated in a missionary hospital today we are covering those three uh, three sectors let's start with what i hear i have never experienced going to a public hospital but i would have had a lot of horror stories in public hospitals um so one of those stories is how women are being mistreated in those areas so when you go to a public hospital and you have not paid for a private wing you're just there with the others um the services are not as you expect because there are a lot and a lot of people who are there and most of them it's a needy case they have a kid they they're pregnant and they really need things happen when you're pregnant and you need to get this baby out and the baby is already on the way so you have to go to the public hospital but they are these um they are really really mistreated uh from what excuse me from what most people from what most of my sources have told me is um you might go in they check you and they tell you you are still not there yet but the kind of pain you're feeling is this baby is almost here and when they come back home the baby comes on the way 
and they don't even go back to the hospital because they know how it's gonna be they're gonna be washed with um madarao um like they'll be wo they'll be clean their uterus will be cleaned with a lot of disgust like i hear those nurses are just the worst and that's the sad past a sad a sad facts if you are a medic a medic if you're planning to be a nurse <laughs> or if you're a nurse please handle your patients with grace love them like you would want them to love you like uh, treat them the way you'd want them to to treat you yeah basically that's just it because life is a reverse today is her tomorrow is you yeah so some of my sources most of my sources have just actually confirmed that the best hospital to go is a public hospital but under private wing you will be treated like a princess or like a queen but if you go to a public hospital it has its downside which unfortunately are a lot yeah so that's that that's what i have had i have never experienced that so now let's go fast forward to missionary hospitals so what i know if you are a first time mom and you really want to give birth via normal you you just you just want to go that route you just want a normal delivery and you need someone to push you to get there go to a missionary hospital this is a definite plus because it works when you get there the nurses they the nurses they really don't care <laughs> i don't know if it's because they see a lot of these cases but they're just they're there they'll be there for you when you call them they will come but they'll tell you uh, how you're progressing just the nitty nitty bits that you need to know just that they'll not they'll not overdo anything <clears throat> like you'll not feel like you're being treated like a queen or a princess you'll just be there but what's important you'll be pushed to get to having a baby normal i have experience in a missionary hospital is they have the old system the old system their their ways are the old ways by that i mean from how they are listening to the baby's heartbeats to how they are they are conducting their uh, blood pressure and so uh, blood pressure the only thing that is electronic let me use that is ultrasound ultrasound of course it's electronic but the rest it's old school so one of the disadvantages that i found in this is when you're contracting if you're a mom you know how that feels when you're contracting the stomach gets hard yeah especially when the baby now is really really you are now in active labor and they need to hear how the baby is going it's a a minute feels like a second when you're contracting when the baby now is when you're around six seven centimeters um the baby the the, the stomach gets hard every like second because the contractions are very frequent they don't have, you do not have time to wait so that is when they pick that um i don't know that thing that they put in, your, in their ear and then they press on your belly and then they start listening if the heartbeat is okay and then they they're like uh can you please relax madam let's hear and then they listen and they are pressing on their heads and they are pressing on the contracting stomach it is painful it is painful and that's the unfortunate bit about it but they push you that's another that's an advantage uh another disadvantage even how they do the bp it's it's confused <laughs> it's just that that for the old school one that you have to pam 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 until it holds your hand tightly then they measure and then they like it takes a lot of time that's my point if, okay this is quite normal if you get in the hospital 
and you're just in pain and you're two centimeters open they automatically admit you and they induce you so that you do not they don't induce you immediately they give you like five hours if your labor isn't progressing they induce you let me tell you moms if your labor is not progressing i'll do a whole video of how you can actually make your labor progress from when you get to the hospital and you will take a very short time to get that baby out um yeah so they give you a little bit of time like five hours if you're still not going anywhere or three hours if a first time mom and you are about 39 weeks they'll give you like three hours if a first time mom and you're like 38 weeks they'll give you about five hours then they come check in if you're still not progressing they induce you and now that's that's the crazy pain but all in all you will get there and you will conquer and the baby will be out and you'll be a happy mom first time mom hooray congratulations now let's get to the other part the private maternity from a private hospital let me tell you my friend i experienced uh this with my third child <coughs> went to a private hospital which was a okay um the appointments were on points everything is great but now when when they start now when you get to the hospital and they start checking you up and let's say your labor is actually really progressing those people don't want you to give birth normal they do not want you to have a normal bath because the insurance will cater very low amounts of money so this is one thing i came to realize um you should definitely see how the hospital works if you're going to a private hospital be sure as a first time mom they know you can't advocate for yourself you know nothing or maybe you know but as of that time you are so confused and you're in too much pain that you can't even think so they'll just tell you ah please sign these papers you go you do a cesarean the baby is one two three you're not progressing as much as you need to like they put a lot of pressure on you and you'll just sign the papers because there's no one there for you and i wish this can change in terms of law wise that we have we have an actual route if it's an emergency cesarean section it's if it's an emergency they have they have to provide evidence that it had to be emergency i don't know if there's such a rule but if someone is around five centimeters and their baby is fine they just don't want to walk they just want to rest and then they wake up why push them why give them pressure to go do um what is it called uh an emergency cesarean that's just a fraud star of 101 because i really do not i don't think it's actually fair for the mom to take that time or like at that enough it's a lot of pain and then the recovering period it's a lot one sec baby is up came to realize that they do not actually wait for your next of kin because they know you know your next of kin obviously knows you and they know you're capable of maybe going through that pain so they don't necessarily <laughs> i don't think they actually don't want you to go through the pain they actually want to take more from the insurance because as we all know when you're going um when you're going for when you're going to give birth your if you're undergoing the surgery it's a little bit more expensive if you're not going through the surgery it's quite the good word to use here is affordable it's not cheap anymore it's affordable <laughs> but yeah there's that as well so i don't necessarily wonder but i just i just hope that as we progress in in, in the near future in the near future that we can have advocates to advocate for moms especially first-time moms and even second-time moms 
and another thing is the, there's there, there are these moms who really really desire to give birth normal um but since the first time they had a cs most doctors here dismiss the fact that you can do they they just automatically outright tell you excuse me if they did that to you i don't think there's any need for you to even try the other one like they disappoint you but get a good uh gyna that's the first route to go get a good gynecologist and then from there especially when you're pregnant let's let your gyna know or rather have that information have information that where your gyna is is or where he can be located or he she can be located <coughs> uh when you're about to give birth and how you can actually use her or him to be there for you to advocate for you okay yeah but all in all moms do not lose hope you can you can try vbac this is um quite quite doable and another thing ensure you have a great support system that understands why you really want to do this but if you cannot do it do not lose hope as long as that child is here safe and sound and and okay you don't need to worry yeah yeah so i just thought i could pop in here and uh, i have been very busy clearly as you can see i have been mia but by god's grace i am back i am not a hundred in terms of energy because most of it is scattered <laughs> to every person in the house so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video stay safe and stay blessed and we say bye bye like share and subscribe and turn on the notifications down below in here i don't know where the notification is <laughs>